Well, hello and welcome to Dulbert's Honest RC. Today I'm going to go over a difference that exists between the NM99-S and the C24-1. Now, the NM99-S is 12th scale. The C24-1 is 16th scale. Not much of a scale difference when you think about it, but it does make a difference when you're buying parts. So, when we set the two chassis side by side, we already noticed that, uh, you know, they're pretty much identical. You look at them, you can't really tell a difference. I got some parts here. This is a C24 axle. You'll notice that the C24 axle, you got these really thin rods on here. Shocks mount from the inside of the rail, not the outside of the rail, but you got the same basic bottom, same basic axle axle cover over here everything looks all good right this is the nm 99s thicker bars we're going to take more abuse they're a lot looser though uh the other thing is is the shocks mount into the rail not out of the rail uh pressed drive shafts so it's a round shaft this is a notch drive shaft, even though it's plastic on the end, it's steel inside with plastic washers, not bearings. That's on the C24. Same thing with the NM99. It's got plastic steel gears, plastic everything else. Uh, so when I ordered parts for my two vehicles, I was thinking they were compatible. So we were running in between the two. What I noticed is that when I got my C24-1 frame kit, it came with these axle tops. And when I ordered the axles, not really carrying between the two, I didn't notice that the mounting plate at the top is going to be different. So if I go to put this guy on here, I have an issue. I don't know if you can see it. There's your issue right there. That plate don't fit. C24-1. However, let's see here. Where is it? I didn't bring in a bare C24-1 axle, but perfect fit right over the C24-1. They are identical. The only difference being down here at the shock mounts no way you're going to put the stock shocks on. I tried to take an M3 rubber mount for mounting uh, flight controllers and the quadcopters and such. You know, a little bumper mounts to keep them from vibrating. Tried to stuff those into the shocks. Didn't work too well, but I was able to get a screw through there. It didn't line up the way I wanted it to. Uh, but I'd go over this with you guys. So this is the C24. Fits right on top of the C24 dash axle not really a big issue the frame and rod kits are interchangeable that i did notice uh the only difference being when you buy it your axle topping house is going to be different so if you're buying the c24 or b series frame kits make sure you buy the axles something i did notice is that the c24 axles are a lot more expensive than the MN99-S axles. So this little pair here was 19 bucks. Similar pair for the C24. These are just straight axles. Plastic ones start at 19 and they go into the 50s to $100. So you're better off just buying a frame kit for the MNN99-S so you get the right axle housing M99-S axles on your C24-1, which you can see an example of that in my video about the C24-1 for 200 bucks, uh, all from Amazon, except for come from eBay. So I just thought I'd go over this with you guys. Uh, when you're trying to get these axle sets put in, I mean, when we look, one more comparison. You can see that you're not going to extend your wheelbase that much. I guess 
now you can see that it's not going to extend your wheelbase. They're pretty much going to get about quarter of an inch, so half inch total extender distance, which is nice for your tire clearance. So that pretty much is going to wrap up this video, guys. Uh, this is, you know, something that you're really going to need to know. I hope I didn't get you too late. Where you end up like I do, I got to order shock mounts for my axles because the shock mounts that I have won't fit and I don't want to use plastic just because I'd have to cut right here you got to cut that little bitch off shrink her up then you can mount your shock into it you might have to take a drill and tap through and the reason I didn't do that you can see right there that little little gap right here that guy right there, that is going to cause your issues when you shave off. So when you shave it off to get it to fit on the axle, you're going to have this hollow point, a hole through it. When your screw thread's in, it's just going to be issues. I mean, that takes a lot of stress. That, that, that's your pounder. So if it's split, you're going to break. You're going to be on the side of the road or out of the competition. So that pretty much wraps it up for these videos, guys. I guess we could compare link sizes, identical. So difference being the thickness. That's what you got. That's the difference between the 12th scale NM99-S and the C-24-1 -C series. Kind of compatible, kind of incompatible. You can mix and match. Just know what you're getting into. Otherwise, you're like me. Now I'm waiting for our, uh, shock mounts. So another three weeks out. Then we'll get that MN99-S on the trail to see what it's like. I might just give up and do the plastic thing, but I'm still floating. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I hope you all have a great, wonderful day.